Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly like my videos if they help in your learning. Now I am going to solve this particular problem. In this problem we are required to determine the magnitude and direction of the friction force which the vertical wire exerts on the 45 kg block. If theta equals to 15 degrees and the second case is if theta equals to 30 degrees. Right, so let's see that this is my positive x and y direction right so and let's assume that the friction force is acting in this direction that is in the positive y direction right let me draw my axis is my positive x and y axis is here let's say that this is my uh, positive x and y axis is right so now since this force P is acting in this direction, so if we resolve this P force into its components, right, so it will have two components, one component of this force P will be acting in this direction, right, and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction, that is vertically upward, that is in the positive y direction, right, and the weight of this block will be acting in the negative y direction, that is vertically downward, right, so this is that weight. And this is that friction force the wall will also apply normal force right so they here we will have normal force which will be acting in the positive x direction right so this is that normal force so now if if we assume that the whole system is in equilibrium right so then if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero right so now as we can see that um, this component this is the cos component of this p so we can write that this is p cos of theta right and p is 500 so we can write that this is 500 cos of theta right so this is 500 cos of theta and this one is the sine component right so this is 500 sine of theta right and this weight is 45 times 9.81 right so if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so then this cos component is acting in the negative x direction so this is my uh, and and this n is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus n minus 500 cos of theta and this is equal to zero right so from this we can write that n is equal to 500 cos of theta so let's say this is equation one and now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so now as we can see that this friction force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus f this sine component is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 500 sine of theta and this weight is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 45 into 9.81 so this is equal to zero so from this we can write that the friction force is equal to uh, minus 500 sine of theta plus 45 into 9.81 right so let me find this weight right so 45 into 9.81 so this is equal to 441.5 right so 441.45 let's say so this is our equation 2 right so now in part a of this problem it is said that theta is equal to 15 degrees right so now if i put theta equals to 15 degree in equation 1 or uh, let's say that if i put theta equals 15 degree in equation 2 first right so we will get that friction force so this is equal to let me put it directly in calculator right so this is minus 500 sine of 15 degrees this is equation 2 right plus 441.45 so this gives us friction force equal to 312 approximately right so i will write that this is 312 newtons right so now if if i put theta equals to 15 degree in equation one so that will give us the n value right since we are not confirmed that whether the system is in static equilibrium or not right so we are not sure that whether this f value is the accurate value or not right so we have to make it sure that whether the system is in static equilibrium or not this is this is our assumption that the system is in equilibrium right so now if i put theta equals to 15 degrees in equation one so that will give us the normal force value so 500 
cos of 15 degrees this is equal to 482 right so n is equal to 482.96 right so then the friction force the maximum friction that the surface can offer for theta equals to 15 degree is mu s n so mu s is 0.5 right so i will write this 0.5 into 482.96 so i will multiply the answer with 0 0.5 so this is 241.48 241.48 so this is f max so the surface can offer a maximum of 241.48 newton and until this value of friction the system will be in static equilibrium right and now as we can see that this uh, f this calculated f from these two equation is greater than f max right so if this is the case so this means that our assumption is not valid the system is not in static equilibrium this means that this uh, box is moving right so and this means that since this f is positive so this means that the direction of the friction force is accurate that is the friction force is acting in the upward direction right so if our assumption is not valid if the system is not in static equilibrium so this means that this block is moving downward since the friction force is acting upward right so it is confirmed that the friction force is acting upward the block is moving downward and if it is the case so then we can find the friction force by using mu k n that is the kinematic uh, coefficient of friction so now mu k is 0.4 into n so this is that n this is 482.96 newton so 482.96 into 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 482.96 so this is 193.184 so this is 193.2 approximately so this means that the friction is 193.2 newtons and the direction is up right that is in the positive y direction so this is for case a now for case b when theta is equal to 30 degrees again i will put theta in equation 2 right so this is our equation 2 this is our equation 2 right so now i will put theta equals to 30 in this equation so this gives us 191.45 so this is the friction value 191.4 let's say newton and now if i put theta equals to 30 in equation one so that will give us that n value the normal force value this is 500 cos of 30 this is 433 right so the normal force in this particular case is 433 newton so now f max the maximum friction that the surface can offer when theta is 30 degrees is again equal to mu s n so mu s is again 0 0.5 into 433 so answer multiply by 0 0.5 so this is 216.5 so this is 216.5 newtons this is f max so now as we can see that this friction value this f is less than f max right so this means that this is now the accurate value of the friction for case b right since the, uh, the surface can offer a maximum friction of 216.5 newton so until this friction value the system will remain in static equilibrium right so we got this value by assuming that the system is in static equilibrium but now we are confirmed that the system is in static equilibrium and the friction that the surface is offering is 191.4 newtons right and since we got the plus sign with this friction force so this means that this friction is moving the assumed direction of the friction is accurate this is in the upward direction right so we can say that for case b the friction value is 191.4 and again the direction is upwards so i hope you people would have understood this solution